Hey friends, today we are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2023 and I am so excited. I'm going to show you everything. We're going to eat all of the spooky snacks, see tons of characters dressed up in Halloween costumes, and watch all of the shows including the Boo To You Parade. So let's eat some food, ride some scary rides, and have a frightful Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party cost anywhere from $109 to $189, and it goes from 7 p.m. till midnight, but you can get into the park as early as 4 p.m., and I'm so excited to just show you guys around and kind of give you a, a little guide. There are so many awesome things to do at the party, so it's important to use your time wisely so that you can get the most out of uh, the money you spent to buy the ticket. Everything from the Halloween themed fireworks to the Boo To You Parade. They have ride overlays like Space Mountain is completely in the dark and there's live actors in Pirates of the Caribbean. So I thought it would be fun to make a little guide for you in case you guys want to come and you can make the most out of your ticket. My first tip of the day is a lot of people like to dress up for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, kids and adults. My friend Kevin right here, Kevin Heimbug, he actually has a YouTube channel and uh, he's dressed up like a milk carton and uh, it's a missing milk carton. Well, the, the problem is it's like 111 right now so I'm like curdled milk. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's what I was going to say. My first tip is make sure you dress in something comfortable because it is Florida and it is yeah, hot. It's, it's it, yep, Florida. it's going to be hot. For me, I'm just going to dress up as myself. <laughs> that's the way. <laughs> I brought back the fedora just for tonight because last year I ran into several people dressed up as me, dressed up as me for Halloween. How amazing is that? It was one of the greatest moments in my life and even some people were dressed up as my dog Gracie, dressed up as a Dalmatian with a little Gracie like collar and uh, I figured I wanted to make sure I was myself so that I could take photos in case I run into someone that's dressed up as me. Now, because some people brought their regular baseball caps, I brought mine too, so that we could take photos for both, like, styles. And I love that. Look at you guys. You look amazing. Anywho, hey, friends. Wow. You guys are so cool. Thanks so much. Happy Halloween. If you are excited to meet some of the rare characters at the party, I highly suggest getting in line as soon as you get here, especially for some of the rare characters and the very busy ones like Jack and Sally and the Seven Dwarves. The Seven Dwarves are back this year, so you can get a photo with all seven of them. And they usually open up the line super early and you can get in line and just wait. And sometimes you can get in and meet them before the party even starts. To find out where most of the characters are and to see all of the times for like the shows and also any of the special signature food that they're only serving during the party, you have to grab one of the maps and this year's map looks totally different. It's very interesting, but they don't tell you exactly what characters uh, are meeting where. They just have like a little bat that says character greetings and you find them all around. So like right down here, we know that uh, in the town square is Jack and Sally. And then we also know that the Seven Dwarves are probably in the far back by uh, Storybook Circus. And then uh, you kind of get used to them. Uh, somewhere out there, they probably have a little list of them all printed out. And I'll try to find that for you. But uh, yeah, this is very important. Make sure you grab a map. Like I mentioned, it's going to be hot out. In fact, this is the hottest summer in Florida history. And this past week was the hottest week of the summer. So this might be the hottest Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party of all time. So be prepared to sweat. And if you have any face makeup on, bring backups because it's just going to run right off you. As you can see right here, Jack and Sally are actually already meeting guests. And they started meeting and greeting at 4 30 and the line right now is a three hour wait so if you got here at four o'clock then there's a chance that you can actually meet jack and sally before the party even starts 
if you don't get here that early and you're not the biggest fan of fireworks or parades you can also try to hop in the character lines during like the fireworks show or the parades because it's going to be a lower wait time because people are actually out there watching the shows so that's another thing you can do in case you don't want to get here at four o'clock and stay till midnight you know now it's time to actually head on into the party itself and we have to go on the opposite side of Main Street so we can pick up our trick-or-treat bag and also get our first treat, our first trick-or-treat stop. On top of all of the entertainment, special character meet and greets, uh, we can't forget about the trick-or-treating. We can get endless amounts of candy, like non-stop. You just go around, all around the park. They have little trick-or-treat, like uh, treat spots. And uh, you just go and they fill up your bag for you. Oh my lord, guys. I just realized this is my first time seeing a Mickey pumpkin because I haven't been here. I was away in Boston. But I love walking back here because you get to see all of your favorite characters kind of like in a Halloween style pose. This is Musketeer. Musketeer Donald right there. And uh, yeah, these are all the people attending the party tonight. They check your wristbands when you get up here and this is where they'll give you your first bag. I see them handing them out right now and usually this treat's a big one. Thank you. Ooh, let's boo this. Huh? Oh, I should have said that in my tagline, in my intro. Oh, I feel so disappointed in myself. But oh, we got to pop this bad boy open. We got to get our treats now. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Trick or treat. What do we get? They're purple M&Ms too, it looks like. What? Fudge brownie M&Ms, you don't say. When I was a kid, my brother and I used to love going trick-or-treating and getting like the full-size bars. You know you're in a good neighborhood when they're handing out like full-size candy bars. Oh, man, that was such a great feeling. <laughs> Not only have I come across some people dressed up as me, but also look at Gracie Girl getting all the love and support. That is amazing. I love your little dog collars. Very, very cool. Gracie says thanks. I can't, I'll show her later, all right? Yeah. I don't know if she'll, I don't even know if she'll know what it means, but I'm sure she'll like it. <laughs> nice, happy Halloween. A couple of things that are new this year is uh, the virtual queue for Tron. Uh, now, a part of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is the fact that there is little to no wait times for a lot of the attractions except the bigger ones and a lot of people want to know if we can ride Tron as many times as you want but you uh, actually can't. You can join a virtual queue at 6 p.m. if you have a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party ticket but you only get to ride it once. And then also new this year, the Sanderson sisters are coming to the Boo To You Parade, I think. And I'm so excited because I never got to see them over at Oogie Boogie Bash. And uh, I get to see them this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> new this year, you actually can ride Tron for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And um, with a group of friends. What, what is this costume right here? Like no, no, you guys let me know. Guess what? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guess what Phoebe's costume is? Where is this from? I know. Imagine this is perfect. That is perfect. Nap Queen. Let me know in the comments what her co what her outfit is. This is actually really impressive. There's no line for Tron right now. Look at that. Like usually when you get the virtual queue, there's like a, like a little bit of a line, but there's no line right now. We're gonna be able to just walk right on in. That was incredible. Tron was literally a walk-on. We, so we're, we were able to ride Tron before the party even started. And that's just so exciting. Right outside Tron is going to be our first treat, uh, treat trail of the day. And I'm kind of excited because I feel like it's the newest one because this wasn't here last year. This is actually really awesome. I love the fact that they have this little area down here as a tree trail. Oh, this guy's scooping. Hello. I my oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Holy moly. A big one, a big one. Right? Oh, my Lord. Perfect. Wow. That was a lot. That's a lot. That, that oh, my Lord, there's another one. There's a, there's two. There's two, there's three down here, actually. Wow, no way. Look, I'm going to fill up my bag on my very first street trail. 
Look at this. Holy moly. Thank you, trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Wow. Look, there's still there's seriously more over here too. I'm gonna fill up my bag literally before the party starts because the party didn't start. The party doesn't start for like another 20 minutes. Holy moly. Fill me up. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Wow. Look at that, guys. Almost completely full already. That tree trail was so amazing. Like, I literally filled up my bag already. And you can just keep going round and round and get as many candy as you want. And at the end of the night, they just fill it up. So I always say wait to trick or treat until the end of the night. Like, go hard on that because as you're leaving, you can literally just fill it all up and take it home. But that was incredible. Now the party's gonna start. The party hasn't even started yet. The party has begun and we made our way down to go see the Goofster. Oh look at here he comes, look at this. Here comes the Goofy. Hey, wow. Look at you pal. Wow, that is too cool. Look at, Goofy is in the house. The party has begun. There he is. Hiya Goof. You having a good day? Happy Halloween. I'm excited to see Maxi later. I hear he's dressing up like Powerline. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. I'm in the Powerline fan club. I mean, I'm, I'm in the Goofy fan club too, but I do love me Powerline. Yeah, well thank you, and I love your pirate costume. I don't even know how Garfy, uh, how does Goofy do like a, a pirate thing? Like, uh, you, well, I don't even know how to do it. It's funny, cause it's like, it's like R, but you, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? Oh, well thanks pal. Can we do a photo? Nice! It is a tradition for me to always start out the night with my very first character meet and greet being Goofy. I think it's now seven years. Seven years I've been coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and I always see Goofy as my very first meet and greet. And I love it. He's just so cool and usually at the start of the night there's never anyone over there because you don't really know he pops out. Like we got in line there was only five people waiting ahead of us and that was right at seven o'clock. And the, other, the only other one that I'm really excited to actually go meet is either Jack and Sally and uh, the Seven Dwarves. Both of them would be amazing. Yeah, it's back, back in Pete's Silly Sideshow is where the Seven Dwarves are actually going to be meeting and you get to meet all of them. Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezy, and Dopey and uh, I think the wait time's about three hours. I would say maybe, maybe two hours at this point and it's so worth it. It's such a rare character meet and greet. I ran into some more friends dressed up amazingly. Happy Halloween, you guys look fantastic. Are you the character attendant? Look at you doing the job right there. I love it, you guys look great though. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the party. We are gonna come back to see the Seven Dwarves. That is definitely gonna happen tonight. But now I kinda wanna go try some of the exclusive food that you can only get for the party itself. And one of the things I was excited to try was the zombie fingers. And I think that's in Cosmic Rays. So we're gonna head over there now. We're gonna grab some of the specialty food from Cosmic Rays now. And this food is just uh, being sold on party nights, but you do have to pay for it. It's not included in your price, but along with some good food, they also have a DJ party in Cosmic Rays. And it's actually really fun. It's a Disney Junior Jam. Look at that, Vampirina is down there. Oh! I decided on getting a couple of the specialty food items from inside Cosmic Rays. And first we've got the Snarling Sub. It's a meatball sub with spicy marinara, pesto, and then pearl mozzarella as the teeth. And it's served on a black roll. And then also the one that I've been most excited to try, the zombie fingers. Almond cookie fingers, key lime pie, white chocolate ganache, and then salty caramel crisp pearls with uh, sugar eyes. And look at how cool that looks all of the food looks amazing and i hope it tastes amazing too this is so fun i love i love halloween themed food cosmic rays was insane in there it took me 30 minutes to actually get this food and uh there's no mobile ordering there's uh i, I don't think they're doing mobile ordering during the party but i'm excited to try it you know i think we're gonna go ahead and try the zombie the zombie fingers first look at this 
And it's so cool because it's the almond cookie and then this is like, I think the key lime pie maybe is the stuff down below. So we're gonna dip the fingers in. Look at it. Oh no, it fell apart. I'm gonna dip this one in and then pull it out. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of the green ketchup. So uh, here we go. Zombie fingers. That's really good, wow. These zombie fingers are so good, especially the key lime at the bottom there. And I like how they literally look like fingers. Like it's perfect. This is literally one of the perfect Halloween like desserts that anybody can make. And I would get this, like if they serve, if they serve this with, like off the party nights, I would probably buy it. Now we're gonna dive into the snarling meatball sub. Look at that, I hope the marinara is not too spicy. I'm already like super hot as it is. I don't wanna be burning up, but I'll let you guys know. I'm not that big of a spicy eater. I probably should eat it like this though. So. Here we go. The marinara isn't that spicy, but the pesto is really delicious. This is actually, this is something good food. I'm happy to see Cosmic Rays actually getting some good food. And I heard good things about the chicken sandwich too from my friend Ryan. So they made a, they might have knocked it out of the park. Good, uh, way to go, way to go, Sunny Eclipse. And surprise, it's a costume change. I had an unfortunate event with my meatball sub and instead of uh, continuing the night covered in marinara sauce, I decided to just uh, switch out and uh, show you guys a little bit of the Halloween merchandise. I got the special uh, monk, uh, Mickey pumpkin uh, spirit jersey. Look at that. Oh, I haven't worn spirit jersey in forever and uh, today was the hottest day so it's perfect. Now that we have done a costume change, it's time to head into Space Mountain and it's only a 30 minute wait, so not too shabby. Space Mountain is so much fun during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party because they do a ride overlay and they add spooky music in there and they shut the lights off and you are in complete darkness. And if you thought Space Mountain was complete darkness before, like when you ride it during the party, you can't see anything. You can't see in front of your face, but you can't record on it. So I'll try to uh, put my phone and like hit the video, the sound recorder and see if it picks up like the sounds of us screaming or if you can hear the music so that way at least you know what it sounds like in there luckily I'm gonna be riding Space Mountain with some familiar spooky friends look at this are you guys ready I'm, I'm ready for a ghost to be on this thing I'm excited Mountain was so scary. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know how the sound recording actually is gonna come out, so I might not add it in, but let me just tell you something. It is terrifying, and it was cool that we got to ride with Adam and Tim, and now I wanna do the only other ride overlay that I was really excited for, and that is the teacups. But I do wanna go see Pirates of the Caribbean if we get a chance, but I need to do the teacups. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at the music just turned on. I don't like going crazy on the teacup. Slow and steady is the way I go. Look at how fun this looks. I love it. Alright, I am terrified because it just starts without warning. It goes from Happy Alice in Wonderland music to just Halloween and then chaos. So, any moment now. Whoa! <laughs> Holy moly! Oh no, that's enough. That's enough. Once I got off the teacups, I came out to a great surprise. Look at this. 
Oh my lord! So we have Fedora PJ Mr. Morrow, the new hat. You even have the same exact hat as I do. And then we've got Gracie shirts. Look at Gracie and Gracie. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Wow. Happy Halloween. All right. We have seen a lot of Paging Mr. Morrow's tonight, but this one right here, I think is my favorite. The fact that you're out here rocking that beard makes me so proud. Thank you, man. Happy Halloween. Very cool. You look fantastic. Thank you. The teacups literally just make me so happy when I'm riding them. And all of these amazing people dressed up as me is making me so emotional. Like, honestly, it's, I, I know I haven't been able to, I, I'm so sorry if I didn't put you in the video. Uh, I just, I, I, sometimes I'm just so shocked and so surprised and happy that I'm seeing someone dressed up as me that I totally forget. But I want you to know I, appreci I appreciate every single one of you guys. I want to show off some of the wait times now in case you want to come and ride a lot of rides. Seven Doors Mine Train is only a 35 minute wait, which is not too bad at all. And it's just overall like not too busy in the parks. During a regular park day, this area would be like just shoulder to shoulder. And look, there's plenty of room to walk around. You don't feel all, you know, tight and up close to a bunch of people. I like that. Oh, I guess we'll go look at all the wait times. It looks like the longest time is Seven Doors Mine Train with 35 minutes. The rest are only a 5 to 10 minute wait, which that's amazing. So if you want to do a lot of rides, um, me, that's just not my biggest like thing because there's so many other things I can come back and ride anytime, except for the ride overlays. I definitely, I'm glad I caught those. But uh, yeah, you can basically just walk on any rides except for Seven Doors Mine Train. You just got to wait a little bit. Might as well stop at another treat stop as we're walking around here. This one's in uh, Pinocchio's here. I'm excited. This one is always my favorite one because you get some AC. Here is another good tip. Uh, you don't need to use the bag they give you. You can uh, just grab any bag. So I've decided to upgrade. I grabbed uh, one of the uh, little uh, bags that you get in the stores and they'll fill this up for you. Thank you. My bag's ripping actually. <laughs> It's a lot of candy in there. <laughs> There's a lot of candy in there. I've upgraded. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Grab another bag. Here, you want my other bag? Hey, friends. Today, we're hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. We're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a Magic Kingdom kind of day. Oh, any who's. <laughs> it's a small world, and Peter Pan both have a... Uh, five and 15 minute wait. I was gonna say they both have a five minute wait, but it looked like one was a 15, which is amazing. And of course it's Peter Pan that has a 15, but uh, it's a small world, it's just a five minute wait. Anybody wants to go on that? Of course, I had to make my way down to the Haunted Mansion because they make it look extra spooky uh, during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And sometimes you can see some very scary or very uh, spookful, frightful characters. I think I just said spookful. Things have been going so smoothly tonight. It's a fun atmosphere. The heat is a little overwhelming. Uh, I am incredibly sweaty, but I feel like everyone I run into, they're saying the same thing. And it's just fun now walking around. We got to do a lot of the experiences. We did two of the ride overlays. We got to see some characters, some awesome costumes. We got tons of candy. I literally have a bag full of candy. I do not want any more candy because I don't even know how I can carry it. And now now we got to start setting up to see the fireworks, the parade, and the stage show. And the best way to do that is all together. The fireworks I think are at like 10, 15. So we're going to do fireworks, then the stage show, then the parade. And then after that, maybe enough time to go and uh, explore around and maybe meet more characters and get some more food. We're going to make our way down into Frontierland. I love the creepy music they're playing. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Oh wow. I can hear the cadaver dance. That's the word. Hi. Hi. 
I'm so happy we got to see the cadaver dance and now we're gonna make our way back out to the front and get ready for the fireworks they're at 10 15 and the best thing about coming to like a, a party night is you really don't need to stand and wait for fireworks you can just show up like I'm gonna show up uh, I think five minutes before the show starts and you'll see exactly how much room there is it is uh, just about five minutes until the show starts and just like I said there's plenty of room you can just literally walk down hey look it I told you I'd run right into you all right this is our spot right here and, uh, and it's actually really cool because there's more than just fireworks to this show uh, you're gonna see some really cool uh, surprises on the stage along with the projections and it's also perimeter fireworks so they be, should be shooting off from the left in the center and then to the far right over there and uh this is one of my favorite shows so i'm excited
You see, my friends, with a lot of adventure and a bit of fright, Halloween is the greatest of nights. Happy is amazing and Jack Skellington is so cool. He's like a giant. And now we're just gonna push up, go up forward and uh, watch the Hocus Pocus Spectacular because that's happening next. And then we're gonna go back and do the parade. So we're gonna knock out all three right in a row. Hi friends. Kevin was up close and he got some great footage of Jack Skellington. Look at that. Awesome, you're gonna put that in your video, right? So we, we did a camcorder for this. You Change, brought a camcorder. It changes yeah, like, everything. Dad go to uh, vacation, but the camcorder you get Jack the puppet. I love that. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good. All of the different performers. It's just the music, the villains. I'm sorry I probably didn't put a lot in because I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to. But now we need to head to Main Street and get ready for the Boo to You Parade and the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman is going to kick it off and come strutting down Main Street. And that's my favorite part of the show. I love it so much. idea the headless horseman doesn't walk over the track so if you sit on the right hand side of uh, Main Street uh, like on the side of Starbucks he's gonna get super close like he did in the video like that I just showed you and now uh, since we have just a, a couple minutes before the parade comes or steps out I think I'm gonna get some ice cream from the plaza I always like to get some ice cream either during the fireworks or afterwards. So uh, right now they're actually doing a special apple fritter sundae. Apple fritters topped with your choice of ice cream, whipped cream, and sprinkles for $8.29. And that looks actually amazing. Oh my lord, look at how amazing this is. And I just found out that they have pumpkin ice cream. So this is pumpkin ice cream with apple fritters, whipped cream, and sprinkles. The pumpkin ice cream is their seasonal item, but I had to get it. This is gonna be actually probably amazing. I have never even heard of an apple fritter sundae before. My mom would love this, she loves apple fritters. So let's try to get a little bit of everything. The pumpkin ice cream with the apple fritter and then the whipped cream all in one bite. Look at that. That's the bite right there. Wow. 
This is amazing. I do have to say though, I think I would have rathered it with vanilla ice cream because then it would have taken like, it would have tasted like an apple pie a la mode. The pumpkin is a good combination, but if I do get it again, which I probably will, I think I'm gonna get it with the vanilla ice cream next time, but still very good. This is probably one of the best things so far that I've had. This is actually better than the almond fingers or the, the zombie fingers. Where though, it does melt very fast, especially if you take it outside. That's why I'm eating it indoors. But uh, yeah, this might be my favorite thing from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I like it that much. Enough of the ice cream business. Look at down there. I can see Max. He dressed up as power line. He's making his way down here. Oh, oh, I gotta get my button. Wow. This is incredible. Look at him. I honestly am like a fangirl when it comes to Powerline and Maxi. And uh, where we're sitting to wait for the fireworks, Starbucks is right behind us, literally. So I think I'm gonna grab a drink and maybe see if they have any spooky treats inside while we wait for the uh, parade to make its way down to Main Street. Now, when the parade starts, that's starting in Frontierland. So you have a couple minutes until it actually reaches you. Looks like they've got a mini shaped pumpkin cheesecake pumpkin cheesecake and pumpkin coffee mousse topped with white chocolate candy cone candy corn bow I said candy cone candy cone look at all of us just sitting by a trash can eating cheesecake sundaes orange juices and smart waters banging on a trash can strumming on a street light I don't know what you're saying yeah, if you think really guys really no, you don't even know what I'm saying? Banging on a trash can, strumming on a street light? Oh Lord. Here is the pumpkin cheesecake, and I've always got this feeling like somebody's watching me. <laughs> oh, you know that song? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, it's happening. It's gonna start soon. You're gonna hear a boo to you.
is the scariest person in this parade. Look at her. There goes Oogie. to you parade was amazing and so many cool like new additions as you could tell you saw the villains float with the Sanderson sisters and then because uh, Maribel is now a Sanderson sister Goofy took her spot at the Halloween hoedown and there was a lot of big changes the scarecrows were new Wreck-It Ralph wasn't there but I liked it I liked it a lot my last treat stop of the night and it's actually one of my favorites because it's also an attraction overlay. You go into Monster's Laugh Floor and uh, they're doing like a Halloween skit in here. And plus you can get lots of candy. Like this isn't a queue, like you can come and go, you just walk through it. It's really awesome and the show just keeps going on in there. I don't know if they're doing the show still because it's so late. But uh, we got to fill up this bag even more. It's so heavy, look at this. Trick or treat! Happy oh, Halloween. double scooping it! Oh my lands, I love it! Oh, oh triple! We dropped, we dropped half of it. Oh man, why can't we got like two minutes? Yeah, we're one, almost done. One minute! Oh, this is amazing. The Halloween, the Halloween the Halloween fun is down. almost over. Okay, get the shoe, get the shoe ready. Get your shoe ready. It's almost midnight. Okay, it's where coming off. Where are the In five, four, three, three two. two. Yo, they were double scooping it in there. I got so many, and isn't it so cool you can just sit down and listen to some jokes and just relax? Oh, actually, uh, looks like uh, I think we got one more treat stop. I guess it's time to head home. We've got a bag full of chocolate that's probably melted. I can't wait to see the condition of it. Like, this is all chocolate in here. Also, my clothes that have my meatball sauce on it, but mostly chocolate. Has anybody seen Gracie, girl? There she is! Ooh! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what? You wanna go for a walkie? And also, do you guys like my new uh, placement for the pumpkin? It greets me when I get home, along with Gracie. And with that, we are done here today. I am back home. I am so sweaty. Holy moly. It was definitely, tonight was opening night. It was definitely the hottest Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party of all time. Like tonight or today was the hottest one. And unless there's gonna be more. And if so, 
Oh boy, it's gonna be a long Halloween season. But uh, just a quick recap, uh, I feel like we got a lot done today. I mean, I wish I could have gotten a lot more done, but like I said, it was so hot, so so hot moving around in there, like holy moly. But we did get to ride a lot of other rides at the end of the night, uh, especially right after parade. But I figured I put in so much already uh, into this video and it's gonna be a long one. I kind of just hung out and chilled out with some friends. Uh, but we got a lot done. I mean, we got to ride uh, the two rides with the overlays that I wanted to. We got so much candy, like an unbearable amount of candy. Like, it's crazy. We got to try at least five of the exclusive treats. We got to see some characters. I wish we got to see the seven dwarves, though, because we were in line, but then they had technical difficulties, and I was really going for that one. Uh, but we did get to see Goofy, at least, and uh, overall, I had a great time. I had a lot of fun. I always, I always love the parties. I think they're so exciting. The fireworks show and the laser projections, like, I felt like that was amazing, and we talked about the Boo to You Parade. The Boo to You Parade definitely uh, changed this year and I think it's better. I do. And it was nice to see Powerline and the Headless Horseman. Overall, I had a great time. And I hope that you guys can use this video uh, in case uh, you plan on coming down and it might help you discover uh, an easy way of getting around. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Thank you to everybody that dressed up as me and Gracie. Um, I want you to know moments like that literally just make <laughs> my whole life worth like something. Like it makes me feel like just incredibly like humble. Like who am I? I was just a Denny's manager. I worked in Denny's. I was a Denny's restaurant manager and now people dress up like me and go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It, I, honestly, I'm very honored. I'm very honored. So thank you so much. Anywho's, I hope you have a great night. Happy Halloween, and uh, we'll see you next time.